Hi, everybody. I am going to go over the module five review for you for our test tomorrow on volume. It is page 123 and 124 from your workbook. I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see what we're working on. Here it is. All right. So first things first, see if we can get that. There we go. We are looking at vocabulary. We've been talking about cubic units, unit cube and volume. A solid figure that is one unit long, one unit wide, and one unit high. That is going to be a unit cube. The units which with which the space taken up by a solid is measured, and that's going to be cubic units. The measure of the space a solid figure occupies is going to be our volume. All right, so that's our vocabulary. The next part, number two says, find the number of unit cubes used to build the solid figure. Tell what strategy or tool you will use to answer the question, explain your choice, and then find the answer. So find the number of unit cubes used to build this solid. The way I would do that is I would look at how many I see in this front row, and that would be seven. So I'm gonna label it as seven. And I can see that there are four rows of seven. So my strategy would be to find the base layer is seven times four, 28 unit cubes. I'm gonna abbreviate. And then I would look at how many layers there are. One, two, three, four, five layers. There are five layers. So 28 times five, I'll do a little bit of work to the side, equals 140 unit cubes. All right, so I kind of explained my answer and what I was doing as I solved. Next, use the unit given and find the volume. So here we're working with one inch cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six in front. One, two, three, four, five, six rows. Six times six equals 36. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers. So I'm going to then multiply that by eight. And I believe we would get 288 cubic inches for that one. Here we're working with centimeter cubes. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the front that I can see. And I see that there are three, oh, I wrote another nine. There are three rows. Nine times three is 27. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six layers of 27. 27 times six. I believe that would be 162 cubic centimeters. All right, so that would be the first part of your review. On page 124, we have some multiple choice. The box is packed with jewelry boxes that have a volume of four cubic inches each. Select all the choices that describe the volume of the large box. So if the box is packed, these are jewelry boxes. They have a volume of four cubic inches each. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six boxes in front. There are two rows of boxes and there are four layers. So if I do that work to find that volume, six times two is 12 times four is 48. But each of those boxes is four cubic feet inches, sorry, on its own. So I'm going to take that times four and I'm going to get 192. All the choices that describe the volume of the large box. So we're talking about cubic inches. I'm going to select 192 cubic inches. It is also 192 jewelry boxes. So that would tell us, I think we would do D and E in that case. 
Number six, select all the choices that describe a right rectangular prism with a volume equal to 240 cubic units. A cube with side lengths of six units. If I have a cube and its side lengths are six units, six times six is 36. I'm not sure I have enough information there to determine. Let's go to a base area of 20 square units and a height of 12 units. So if we know the base, that's the length and the width. 20 times 12, I'll hang that zero and I will get 240 with that one. A length of five units, a width of six units and a height of eight units. So that gives us our length and width and height. Five times six equals 30. 30 times eight is going to give us that 240. Contains exactly 16 smaller prisms with a volume of 15 cubic units each. If I do 16 times 15, I get 240. Can be filled completely with four layers of six cubes, no gaps or overlaps. So I have four layers and these are six cubes each, no gaps or overlaps. That only gives me 24. So I'm going with B, C, and D. A truck hauls a trailer with a container in the shape of a right rectangular prism, 40 feet long, eight feet wide, nine feet high. What is the volume of the container? I have my length and width and height. I can do 40 times eight, gives me 320 times nine, 2,880 cubic feet. Checking my work a little bit there. Gina stores 160 cubic inches of blocks in a container shaped like a right rectangular prism that has a base area of 36 square inches and a height of five inches. How many empty space how much empty space remains in the container after all the blocks are put inside. So this container stores 160 cubic inches of blocks. She has a base of 36. So remember that's our length and our width and a height of five, which gets us to 180. How much empty space remains in the container after all the blocks are put inside? Gina stores 160 cubic inches of blocks in a container shaped like a right rectangular prism. How much empty space? So I need to find the difference. 180 minus, sorry, 160. I was already thinking in my head about that difference equals 20 cubic inches would be left empty space. And here are our composed figures. I'm going to split this one here. I'm going to have figure A and figure B. My dimensions for figure A are going to be, I'm going to have a length of two, a width of six, and a height of seven. If you did those in a different order, that's okay, as long as you have the two, the six, and the seven, if you split it the same way as me. Uh, six times seven is 42 times two is going to give me 84 cubic inches for figure A. Figure B, let's see, my length, it was 11, but I've cut it, so I'm going to change that to a nine by six by two. So I'm going to do nine times six equals 54 times two is going to be 108 cubic inches. I'm going to add the 108 and the 84 and we should get 192 
cubic inches for figure nine. Figure 10, I'm gonna go across here. I'm gonna call this A and this is B. For figure A, I have a length of five, a width of four, and a height of six. For figure B, I have a length of 15, and a width of four, and a height of six. So I'm going to do five times four, that's 20 times six. So for A, I'm going to get 120. Five times four was 20 times six was 120. For figure B, uh, let's see, I'm going to do 15 times four times six is going to give me 360. When I add 360 plus 120, I believe this figure in number 10 will be 480 cubic centimeters. And I believe that is your review. I hope you're ready for the test. If you feel like you need more practice, go back in Google Classroom and look at our links for IXL or some of the practice pages in your book that you have at home. All right, I'll see you next time.